When the world went into isolation in early 2020 because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Arlene McTeer rushed to the front lines. She lived and worked in the epicenter, New York City. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, she took care of patients until the virus ravaged her body. And now the doctor who took care of thousands of patients is a patient desperately needing a kidney transplant. Tonight, I speak with Dr. Arlene McTeer, sister. Looking at pictures of their lives. If she was here right now and it was the old Arlene, you would have been laughing through this whole interview. <laughs> Sanja McTeer says okay. for as long as she can remember, her sister, Dr. Arlene McTeer, was on a mission. Arlene, since she was five, wanted to be a medical doctor. And so, of course, you know, when a child says, I want to be a medical doctor, everybody says that. But it never wavered. And the sisters did not have to search for role models. Their father, Dr. George McTeer, made history in healthcare. My dad was the first African American to graduate from MUSC's dental school. So my sister and I more watched his behavior, how he conducted himself, humbly, mildly. From her years at Bishop England High School. She was very academically um, driven. She participated in, as a cheerleader, and um, she was in the student council. And through rigorous academic college programs. She went to Cornell, and then she went to um, Rochester, and then she went to Rochester for her undergrad. And then she went to Chicago Medical School. McTeer says her sister made sacrifices for the sake of others. And then eventually she would end up in New York City. Why did she select New York City to practice medicine? She wanted to help the um, less advantaged, the underserved. Um, and like I said, I hate going back, but she got that from my dad. Um, and she just wanted to make a difference. And then 2020. The front line of the COVID-19 pandemic, yeah. New York City, taking care of patients until she became one. She was at work doing her normal thing and she collapsed at the job and they had to rush her upstairs to the um, intensive care unit and she had difficulty breathing, you know, all the telltale signs for COVID. They tested her and realized that's what it was. Dr. Arlie Victor neither failed her patients nor her staff, but her body began to fail her. She has Guillain-Barre, syndrome, which affects the nerves, legs, and arms, induced multi-organ um, inflammatory responses, um, causing reactive airway disease, which means her lungs have been damaged severely. She has nephrotic syndrome, which means that her kidney has failed. Gains so much fluid because of the kidneys not functioning. Nearly every organ system in her body began shutting down. The, the taste of food, um, smells, it's gone. It's almost like she's just a shell of a person. It's not the Arlene that we know. Two years after she rushed to the rescue of others, Sanja says her sister needs a kidney transplant. Now um, reduced to really a bad quality of life. The hope now is for a transplant. I am asking anybody who sees this interview, please, Think about Arlene and consider donation, kidney donation. She needs a kidney. If she doesn't get this kidney, she's going to die. We certainly appreciate the McTeer family sharing their powerful story. If you'd like to find out more about Dr. McTeer's story, or if you would like to be a living donor, you can find out information about the process at cornell.donorscreen.org.